Saguaros can grow old and tall, some living hundreds of years. One saguaro who lived in Marana was over 40 feet tall, had 34 arms, and was estimated to be 200 years old. As Isabella Fredrickson tells us, the cactus fell prey to a bacterial disease that could threaten saguaros across the southwest. Saguaros are a staple in Arizona. You can see them everywhere, from golf courses, backyards, and shopping malls. The big ones have names. This one is named Prickles. I recently covered the death of a saguaro named Strongarm. His story tells us about the current threats to the state landmark. When the cactus nicknamed Strongarm died and fell over during a storm, it shocked locals and tourists alike. One of the things we did uh, find out from a saguaro expert is that the saguaro did have an infection um, and really the necrosis kind of helped uh, the saguaro on its demise. Field science geologist William D. Peachy is a cactus expert and he saw the telltale signs of what killed the cactus. Uh, it took me about 15 seconds to figure out why it died. It was infected with Erwinia carnegiana, which is the bacteria that ends the lives of lots of saguaros. Unfortunately, Peachy says this bacteria is infecting cacti all over at an increasingly alarming rate. What's different is they're dying off relatively suddenly. Normally, over decades, you might lose one, you might meet two or three here and there, but we're losing large numbers of them because these events are happening more frequently and they're worse weather events and so it seems like they're all dying at once. Peachy says extreme fluctuations of temperature and more severe storms, all due to climate change, are killing saguaros from the inside out, making them more susceptible to this deadly bacteria. One of the most fascinating things ecologically about saguaros is, is their role in the ecosystem with other plants and animals. Don Swan, a biologist with the Saguaro National Park, says the death of the saguaro species is harmful to all of the other organisms that depend on this plant. They're the tallest plant in the desert where most of the plants are pretty short. So for birds, for example, they make great perches. However, there is still hope because dead saguaros still provide life to many other organisms in the desert. Right here on one of the saguaro's arms is a bulge, and as you can see right here, there's a hole, which originally was from a Gila woodpecker. Now this bulge is going to callus over and preserve water for future insects and residents of this ecosystem. Strongarm is purposely being left untouched and is not being cleaned up and removed, so he can continue to give life to other species. While the death of an ancient saguaro seems tragic, it is bittersweet to know that the end of their life continues to bring life to other species in the Sonoran Desert. Wildlife biologists tell us that it's hard to tell when a saguaro has this bacteria. And unfortunately, there is no cure once the cactus starts to show symptoms. In Phoenix, Isabella Fredrickson, Cronkite News.